for it first. Uh, okay. Uh, hi, uh, everyone. Happy to see all of you. Uh, and uh, welcome back to today's session organized by Fodan Africa. And uh, my name is uh, Putu Hadi, uh, and I will uh, uh, be the host of the meeting. And I put the agenda on the chat box. Uh, and uh, now our highlight is uh, about the deployment because we have uh, uh, actually 20, uh, 20, uh, 20, 20 of April is not the deadline, uh, just like Prof. Miriam said. It is like uh, we, we should be deployed before that so we can uh, do the uh, testing and etc. Uh, and now we are uh, focusing on uh, preparation on the deployment and will be uh, I will update about that uh, later. As always, try to keep your mic muted during the presentation uh, to prevent background noises. And uh, if you have any question, you can chat in the type uh, in the chat box and also write, you can raise your hand. Uh, and now I will hand over to you, uh, Prof. Francisca, to uh, lead the session. The floor is yours, Prof. Francisca. Uh, thank you, Putu. I think Dr. Araya is meant to lead this session if uh, Dr. Raya is able to, um, just to stand in as backup, just in case. Dr. Raya, are you available to lead uh, today's meeting? Uh, uh, hello, Prof. Uh, Professor Francisca. Uh, our connection seems, seems very poor, uh, so there might be interruption in between, but... Uh, uh, yeah, but uh, I can also uh, share my ideas in between. Uh, I'm not sure whether the connectivity I have will help me to lead the whole session, but on the timeline and other agendas, I will share. So like we did yesterday, Putu can also guide us. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Ray. I'll be happy to help. And then uh, when uh, we need your input, hopefully the connection will be good enough. Uh, good morning from my end is 9 a.m. And uh, good afternoon, good evening from all over the world. Thank you for making it to join us again today for the Tuesday Bhutan Africa and Asia meeting. I bring you greetings from Professor Miriam, who is in Paris, France at the moment, giving a talk on Bhutan Africa and then meeting with some other European partners or prospective European partners. I would like to thank everyone for the sacrifices, for the effort, especially the coordinating team of Putu, Miriam, uh, Getu and Samson and Alia, and then the country teams led by the country coordinators, the data stewards. I thank everyone for all the efforts made so far to ensure that we have our deployments. As Putu pointed out in his opening, we have a demonstration meeting on 20th April. And then the Stanford team led by Professor uh, Mark Nielsen will be in Netherlands at The Hague. So we don't have a choice. We just have to be ready. The president of the Pan-African Society, the number one African is going to be in attendance. We we'll declare the meeting openly as confirmed his attendance. I think the agenda has been sent out. I can also I'll post a copy of the agenda in the chat room. The proposed agenda is tentative agenda for that meeting. So we don't have a choice. We have to be ready. And essentially, most of our discussions today will be geared towards our preparation for that forthcoming meeting of 20th April, which is like 15 days away. So on that note, I would like to call on Putu to give an update from the Monday meetings. And thank you, Putu, for organizing that meeting. Every Monday you have not failed. Even there are days, at the early days, when it's just you and a few other persons, you've kept on. And now the meeting has grown to include all the country coordinators. Thank you very much, Putu. OK, uh, thanks, Prof. Francisca. Uh, so now I will start with the uh, first agenda. And uh, it is about the Monday's meeting result. and. Uh, it will be the core of our uh, discussion today. So, uh, uh, so the the first uh, I will uh, start from the result of uh, yesterday meeting, and I will follow by uh, the challenge, and maybe uh, then Dr. Araya can uh, 
actually i discussed with dr araya after the meeting about uh, uh, how to uh, to make uh, to uh, to give insight to to dr araya to uh, to do the timeline so the yesterday result first result is the we decide uh, the fixed statistics uh, yesterday so so the health facility statistics so our decision based on uh, mariam and i discussion and also with prof miriam is uh, we have uh, so i will share it uh, now uh, the desktop and the attribute. Wait a minute. Where is... So wait a minute. Uh, so we will uh, we will have some. So we will have uh, some uh, health facility statistics uh, uh, for the health uh, health facility. It is uh, patient visits uh, from OPD, uh, patient visits, uh, patient gender percentage, frequency of selected diseases, and COVID-19, uh, patient visit, patient test for COVID-19, patient test positive COVID-19, uh, and patient death. And for ANC, this is uh, the newest uh, uh, statistic, it is patient age, patient visits, stipulis test result, and gestational age. However, we have uh we included uh, hiv test uh in uh in in uh not included hiv test uh, result in nigeria and uh, uganda but others we have uh, that uh, uh we we have that uh, uh statistic so i think it is better to show the agreement so this is the agreement of uh the newest agreement so in nigeria uganda without hiv and others uh, included hiv so that's the decision uh, so this is the agreement so now the agreement is final just like i said to uh, uh, dr araya and dr reginald the agreement is final so we can start to uh, uh, initiate the agreement uh, to uh, to give the health facilities to check the agreement and also uh, sign on the agreement so I will show it uh, right now. So the Nigeria Uganda uh, with without HIV. So without HIV, but others with HIV test result because uh, we have a different uh, uh, template uh, uh, attribute. So uh, we decide to uh, 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 divide the agreement into the two type of agreement. Uh, and it is also con uh, confirmed by uh, i mean like i discuss uh, i communicated with uh, dr reginald so now the agreement is finished uh, that's the uh, uh, that's the uh, decision of statistics and also the agreement is finished and we can start to initiate the agreement and uh, then uh, yesterday we also uh, talked about uh, hmis uh, import uh, and export uh but uh we have a problem uh, because uh due to the uh, bureaucracy in uh somalia i mean like uh, not uh the his2 is not open for uh, every uh, country so uh, samson uh, uh samson have uh, an idea to uh, so suggest to get the hmis indicator uh to and then samson will take over uh from from that uh, from that step so then the country coordinator, especially Kenya, Somalia, and Zimbabwe, can get uh, can give Samsung the health, uh, the HMIS indicator. Uh, for the Zimbabwe, it should be Impilo indicator. That's the result. So there we have three results. The first is the fixed statistics, uh, and the second one is the the agreement is fixed. We can initiate it, and the last one, if uh, so, uh, if we cannot get the element. So uh, the country coordinator should provide the HMIS indicator to Samsung. That's the result. And the challenge, this is the challenge. The first challenge is uh, for the dashboard creation, Oluole is still uh, in progress to finish the dashboard creation. And uh, he said that he still uh, structurized and unstructurized the, uh, the, the, the database. And uh, he, he need time to do that. But uh, the problem is we don't know when the Olu, uh, when Oluwole can finish it because uh, yesterday uh, he's still uh, in progress with that. Uh, so, and I also communicate with Dr. Araya about this. And the second one, we need urgently need uh, HMIS uh, indicator from Kenya, Somalia, and Zimbabwe. Especially for Zimbabwe, 
Dr. Ronald want to communicate with uh, Samson because uh, uh, Dr. Ronald's team already uh, established uh, uh, Impilo, uh, local local uh, local host uh, for Impilo. So uh, he needs uh, Samson help. So that's the second uh, that's the second challenge. So first is dashboard, and second one is HMIS uh, uh, from uh, HMIS indicator from Kenya, Somalia, and also Dr. Ronald communication to uh, Samson. And yeah, uh, and the last one uh, is the backup. We uh, we still I don't know. Uh, we still didn't. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't have an update from uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Ronald about the backup. And uh, so uh, I don't know what is the what is the progress. And that's the uh, critical part also uh, from for the deployment. So there are three challenges, uh, Prof. Francisca. So dashboard creation, so HMIS indicator from uh, country coordinator, and also Dr. Uh, Ronald wants to communicate with Samson about the impilo, and the last one is the backup progress. So that's all from me. Maybe Dr. Araya, uh, you can uh, explain what is your plan uh, after this uh, meeting. After sorry, after uh, my uh, my talk about the agenda. Back to you, Prof. Francisca. You are muted. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Uh, hello, Putu. This is Araya. Hello. Yes. Yeah, okay. Right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, I think you have excellently outlined our uh, discussions and the updates we had yesterday. Uh, but the key point is that we we have time pressure. Uh, for instance, in Tanzania, but there is a a plan for a demonstration of the uh, vote in Africa. So uh, to have this demonstration in Tanzania by Dr. Uh, Jeremiah, uh, yes. So we needed to really finalize finalizing the pending tasks like the dashboard and uh, the indicators uh like the what Puto has mentioned so i want to re-emphasize that uh by next monday at least we need to have a, a, a finalized uh, the remaining tasks so uh, in the presence of uh, Professor francisca uh, if uh, oluele is uh, also here dr ronald is here and uh, if uh, samson is here they can tell us whether we can uh, we can finalize the remaining tasks uh, this week and demonstrate on uh, Monday at least. Otherwise, it would be very difficult to uh, to demonstrate uh, the whole tasks on uh, April 20 and also on April 12 in uh, Tanzania. Uh, I think uh, there is a need for a reflection whether we can achieve this or not. That is a point I would like to bring into the attention of all members. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Roya. I have uh, put in a summary in the chat, the summary of the urgent tasks that are outstanding, which is uh, the dashboard. Uluwale is not in at the meeting, but I can confirm that he and Ezra, they have been working all through it. I've uh, spoken to him this morning at 3 a.m. my own time. There was a kind of a bilateral meeting between Professor Miriam, me and him. I know they're working. And then uh, the HMIS import, it appears that Samsung's work will depend on the country coordinators. They need to provide the JSON template. And then of course the uh, HMIS or Impilo indicators. Ronald is also not at the meeting. So Dr. Reginald, if you're here, would you like to speak on the positions of the country coordinators on this? Because it appears that oh, Dr. Reginald, I don't see Dr. Reginald at the meeting as well. Dr. Reginald, yeah, Dr. Reginald not... cannot attend the meeting, uh, Prof. Miriam. But uh, yeah, uh, from uh, I don't know, but uh, Dr. Ronald is chatting uh, me like this. So okay. uh, wait a minute. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, the the point is, uh, Dr. Ronald is setting uh, the local instance of uh, Impilo, and uh, they needed uh, some help. So uh, yeah, that's that's the update from Dr. Ronald. But for the update. Of backup, I didn't see any uh, backup from uh, last week uh, about the backup uh, of the 
but uh, what what I remember is the backup is finished, but the procedure is still not uh, finished. But I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. I, I put, uh, can I can I can I jump in? Yes, sure. Yes, yes, you can. Yes, uh, it, uh, you're right. With the, what was remaining was on uh, the procedure on how to deal with uh, backups. But uh, in our last meeting with uh, Oluwole, Mariam, and the rest of uh, the technical team, uh, we had a good discussion on how to proceed, and we agreed that each facility has uh, their own local rules on how to uh, handle backups. As long as uh, our system allows to do uh, backups technically, that should be uh, enough so uh, we can uh, we can uh, say that the backup and restore facility is already uh, in place and uh, uh, in relation to uh, Ronald uh, Ronald has been trying to uh, communicate with me he's been calling me this morning as well and I was also trying to reach him uh, it was only that we couldn't uh, discuss on uh, in Pilo and we hope uh, to do that as uh, quickly as we can thanks over not Put. Excellent. Thank you, Samson. At least it's good. I was just about to ask Putu to tell him to call you. So please kindly help uh, put him through on the uh, on the work he has to do on the Impilo so you can get what you need and then get the indicators and um, you know that Zimbabwe is out. The other countries I know Nigeria already sent the DHIS. Uh, Miriam, can you update on that of Uganda? Um, yes. yes. Hi. Hello. Hi, hello. Dr. Francesca. Uh, so basically, uh, I've been in communication with the health facility, uh, the teaching hospital uh, in Ishaka. Though there's not really been a positive response so far. Um, the personnel says it's a bit uh, difficult for him to send it over but um i'm just waiting uh for more feedback maybe tomorrow okay thank you but what is the nature of the difficulty um he didn't really mention um uh, why i ask if it's an administrative difficulty then we can approach the management of the hospital through the vc or if it is a technical difficulty, then we can get members of our team to help him through. That's why I ask. Maybe you could find out the nature of the difficulty. Uh, yeah, that's 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 what I'm basically waiting for him to respond to. Okay, thank you. Because um, just like Dr. Araya pointed out, we have two critical dates. There is a demonstration for Tanzania on the 12th, and then on 20th, we have the demonstration for everyone for the Nigeria, Tanzania, Uganda, Kenya, Ethiopia, and um, even Somalia, if possible. So we are really operating on a very tight schedule here, and we have had to shift our, our timeline by many dates, which we really, it's a matter of honor this time around. We have claimed that, oh, we have the technical expertise, we have the people, but we keep on shifting our timelines. I think it's important that we find a way to bring this to a closure. And it's also affecting the contract because if you look at all the contracts until we realize the project, the management cannot deliver on the second tranche of the contract. So it's, it's an issue for us and we cannot even access the next tranche of payment from our sponsors if we don't realize the project. So we are all in this, we just need to finish this. Uh, there is a hands up, Getu, Dr. Araya, Samson. Yeah, this is Geto speaking. Uh, I would like to uh, highlight some facts here. Uh, even though it's difficult to access the DHIS2 system, there are uh, documents, uh, for example, DHIS2 reportable form or HMIS indicator separate forms that uh, you could easily find from the Ministry of Health. So if uh, country coordinators uh, try to ask to get those documents, we can, uh, like that we did to uh, Nigerian uh, reportable forms, which we got from Dr. Abdullahi. 
he sent us the form and we 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 able to we were able to create DHIS to form for Nigeria. So the other countries coordinators could find those documents and send us and we could start from that from there. Thank you, Prof. Thank you very much for that uh, hint, Getu. Miriam, perhaps you could explore this option as proposed by Getu to get the PHIS form for Uganda, if that is possible, please. Thank you. Um, we have an, uh, the next item on the agenda is the update on the timeline. Dr. Araya, could you kindly- Francisca, maybe, sorry, yes. sorry, I jam it. So mm -hmm. maybe we also can ask uh, uh, William and uh, uh, Dean ja uh, Dr. Jamal about uh, what is the current progress of that because uh, we already uh, uh, discussed it yesterday about the HMIS mm -hmm. indicator because uh, Dr. Jamal and William also have a challenge on mm -hmm. getting the element of JSON. Oh, excellent. William is in the meeting. So perhaps William, you like to speak to the Kenya situation. I am. Yes, Dr. Jamal? Yeah, for me, I'm still working on it. I've already communicated to the file HMIS manager. Um, I'm, uh, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting his update to give me the elements because we, we don't have uh, access to, to the DHS system in Somalia. So maybe within two and coming three days, I will have a full update on the element design indicators as well. So I will share with you the first source of possible I'm working on it. All right. Thank you, Dean Jamal. William, for Kenya, I see. All right. Oh. William, you're on mute. Yeah. Can you unmute yourself? All right. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, please. Yeah, I was saying, um... Uh, everything is on course. Uh, we have to get the permission from the ministry so that we can access the elements and uh, the indicators. I think they should be by the before end of the week. I will ask with Dr. Reginald, even if it is going to the NNS offices, so that we can get the permission to get the data elements, I mean, the indicators. Mm. Mm. So, probably in the course of the week, we should be ready. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much, William, for that yeah. topic. Thank you. Thank you. And I can see an exchange between uh, Dr. Kawu and Ding Jamal. Getu and Samson, do you have uh, anything to say on the Somalia situation? Ding Jamal said you already checked. Yes, uh, Prof. I, I think the easiest thing to do is uh, let's just forget DHIS to for now and think of the health system itself as it is. And the uh, reportable indicators are even available on the internet, you know, like uh, for Ethiopia case, uh, for ANC, they, uh, we report uh, gestational age uh, greater than 16 and less than 16. But for Nigeria, for instance, it's greater than 20. And the, the different countries have different ways of calculating uh the the indicators and uh, from here we have no way of knowing which indicators are reportable and what are the formulas for calculating so uh what we're trying to to help country coordinators is relieve them from uh, the bureaucracy of getting the json and getting into the his they can just send us even uh, on WhatsApp uh, to meet us fit or gay to or anyone or Mariam for that matter, they send uh, even the forms like uh, the, what was uh, delivered to us from Nigeria was helpful enough to, to do for Nigeria. So just let them just do what Nigeria did. That's what we're asking. I hope okay. it's clear this time. Yes, yes, it's still yeah. But uh, what Din Jamal already shared with you, does that work for Somalia? Uh, I don't know, uh, Dean Jamal has shared what he has shared already. Uh, uh, maybe uh, he might. Uh huh. Yes, go, go ahead, Jamal. Uh, yes. Yes, Dr. Yes, Jamal. I have, I have shared the updated. Uh, I don't understand what you, I, I thought you need something 
it's specifically related to the system, not indicators. So in that case, for me, it's, it's very simple. I can share it with you within tonight. I've already shared it, I think, with Prof. Mircham, the our updated uh, tool is all tool is complete tool is of, and I think also you can you can find it. In that case, it's very simple to me. I can share with you within tonight. No, I'm so sorry. I thought that you need something related to the system, which is system itself, not the that's that, that how you understood things. So I'm so sorry for that confusion. I can share with you within tonight of that case. Yeah, uh, I think the easiest way uh, we can do is that. I will share you, Jamal, the, the reportable form that we received from uh, Dr. Abdullahi from Nigeria. And uh, accordingly, you can share us similar uh, forms if, you, if, if it is available. Okay. Thank you very much, Ketu and Samson. That works. And then we can move on to the update on the timeline by Dr. Araya. Yeah, uh, thank you, Professor. And uh, I think we have touched many of the issues, uh, the activities in relation to the uh, timeline. But I want to re-emphasize on the key dates uh, we have uh, for April 12, the demonstration in Tanzania, and for the 20 April for the big conference. Uh, so uh, most of them are touched, but I want to mention uh, about the contract agreement. Putu, you have uh, uh, explained very well and uh, the contract agreement will be shared to country co co coordinators by today. But I want to make sure whether it is already shared. If not, because Dr. Reginald is not around. So if you send me the final contract agreement, I can share it on the WhatsApp group of country coordinators. So they can uh, start. That is... Uh, uh, one key task we have. And uh, the other, uh, maybe we, we have heard about the updates from uh, Uganda, uh, thanks to Miriam, and uh, the template creation, the work is uh, completed yesterday. She, she, she updated us, but uh, with the deployment with Nigeria, uh, Uganda and the Kenya, uh, we were following. So it, it could be good to hear what is the update uh, based on the discussion uh, I had with the Professor Miriam, for instance, Nigeria will start the deployment or some activities related with the deployment today. Uh, but can we hear something from William and uh, from Nigeria team on uh, the process of uh, deployment? That is a uh, that is something we really need to hear. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Dr. Raya. I think uh, Dr. Abdullah is here at the meeting. Perhaps you can give a brief update on the deployment process in Nigeria. Yes, Dr. Abdullah. Um, <laughs> sorry, to, sorry to interrupt. Yes, ma'am. Uh, hi. Um, sorry, I don't think uh, the deployment has yet happened in Nigeria as the image is not yet completed. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I don't think Abdullah he has anything to answer really about this uh, because the Nigerian image is not yet ready. Um, and it's not yet been uploaded, so I don't think he has an update unless he has something to say. No, no, I think you've, you said it all. Um, so what happened was just like uh, we are still talking, the DHIS part of the system is still not yet integrated to the, to the image. So the intention is to wait if that is fully done then we take the image and then of course run run the system um yeah so i was also going to just speak to what we shared um with Geto and samson earlier on um so basically it's simply so usually what facility do is they have a summary form 
which is based on the OPD and some other forms. So that is the summary form that you find on the DHIS system. And you have the hard copy actually always on in the facility. So simply what you have on the hard copy is what you find in the DHIS system. So which is what we shared, the summary. So there you see it captures indicators, not really. So number of patients that came today, total, you know, and it's usually monthly, a monthly summary of um, those data. I don't know if you want me to share how it looks, but I think that's it. Right, thank you very much, Dr. Abdullahi uh, Kao. That is absolutely fine. But uh, okay, I think uh, Ding Jamal already responded that they have it. So I will request that Gato and Samson coordinates with Ding Jamal to get the document from Somalia to see the possibility of finalizing the image for Somalia. Uh, like uh, Miriam said, so Miriam, do we have any of the country image that is ready now? Because you, your team has the Nigeria DHIS, or how soon? Ah. Do you know how soon we can get the image ready? At least let us say, oh, we have one ready, complete image. Uh, not yet, but soon. Um, the image is not yet ready, but it will be soon. Thank you. Uh, uh, Dr. Adraya already mentioned that we have uh, two demonstration meetings. There is a mock demonstration on the 12th of April for the Tanzania case specifically. And then there is the demonstration for 20th April. Remember we retool CEDA, we are retooling CEDA, which is owned by the San Diego Supercomputer Center. Uh, sorry, which is owned by Stanford. And then we have the support of the San Diego Supercomputing Center. They had promised us if we successfully deployed, they will be able to hold a world webinar for us. And then that is happening on 28 April. So we don't have a choice. We just have to be ready. Uh, if you, with your kind permission, get to and Dr. Araya. Let me see if I can share my screen, hopefully. Can you all see my screen on the, the tentative agenda for the meeting of 20th April is here. Can you all see? I have so many windows open, so I don't even know which one is showing. But can you confirm that you're seeing an agenda? Yeah, we, we can yes. see it. Okay, okay, thank yes. you. So this is the tentative agenda for now. If anything is gonna change, it will be communicated. But you have seen that the event will be declared open by the president of the Pan-Africa Parliament to the African Union, President uh, Fortune Charumbira. He was at our AU-EU event in February and then he has also accepted to be here. So we don't have a choice, we have to be ready. Many members of our community have roles to play at the event. If anyone wants to volunteer to speak or something, you can reach out to me or Professor Miriam uh, to see if we can find a slot to hear as much as many voices as it's possible, but I'm sure this would also be communicated uh, closer to the events. So this will take us to the next point on the agenda for Ovina to briefly speak on the invitation and communication strategy for the meeting. It doesn't have to be detailed, Ovina. If, I'm sorry, if uh, this is the first time you're being told of this, that you have to, but you should have an invitation and communication strategy so can you briefly speak on this? Yes, Bob, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Hi, Obina. Yes, please. Okay, yeah, I think that the flyer is ready. So we'll set up a, a Zoom webinar for it. So I think uh, once we confirm the, the, uh, the panelists, I think the panelists is uh, ready and the emails of the panelists were sent before the invitation to them. So by tomorrow, uh, we share the invitation link. I think it is a, is a, everybody needs to register for the event for proper uh, documentation. So I think everything is uh, ready now. Do I need to share the fire? Yeah, now. you can if you wish to, yes, it's fine. Okay, maybe I will put it in the chat. Uh, okay. In terms of impossible. 
Yeah, that's why I had to share my screen. So I couldn't put an image. Okay. Yes, I, I think I think I, I shared a flyer with two of us. Yes, yes, I, I got the uh the yes. flyer as you shared it. Let me see if it's something I can share. It's in WhatsApp. I hope I don't have, but let me see if it will show. Mm, I have so many windows open. Yes. Yeah, so the that's the flyer. The flyer is ready. So we're going to send email to everyone by uh, tomorrow. Then we'll also send the, the mails to other partners from from Norfolk. So I think it's going to we we are targeting uh, more than uh, hundred to two hundred participants in the event. Hopefully online, and also it's going to be both online and hybrid online and offline. So it's going to be taking place there at, a, I think, Leiden University at the same time. So we're going to have uh, people from Leiden and we that are attending the event online. Now, this is excellent. Thank you, Obina. Uh, can, um, can I jump in, uh, Francisca? I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, Obina, uh, could you change the uh, registration link to uh, better, like a familiar uh, link. For example, like bit.ly slash fair ethical uh, conference or meeting, something like that. Because if it's combination of a number and uh, uh, and the uh, and, uh, and the alphabet, it is quite like challenging for like uh, typing into the browser. So I just worried to this will be reduced, like uh, decrease our participant. Yeah, I mean like yeah, use bit like yeah. I mean change the change the link name. All right, Puto, do that. I think I get what Puto is saying. That's fine. If you have a subscription to bit.ly, I think you can always configure. You can always configure your link your URL. Uh, this is yeah. excellent, Obina. I was also going to ask if, since we have participants from North America, Stanford and San Diego, they're on the same time zone, maybe to also include the Pacific time zone. Okay, okay. I'll do in addition to the West Africa and the Central European and then Central Africa. And then this time, I think uh, CET has changed. Yes, yes, yes. CET, yes. Okay, this has okay. changed. Yeah, because they have been okay. one hour now. So they have changed one hour. All right. That's East Africa, right. West Africa remains the same. And then, so to get the right time zone before we send this out. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, we have 15 minutes and we still have quite, of course, some of the updates have been given. So uh, Samson, Putu already spoke on the signing of the agreement. And let's hope the agreement will go out ASAP so the country coordinators can go ahead and get the health facilities to sign them. But if Samson and Geto would like to just speak briefly again to the final stage of deployment. Yes, Prof. Uh, I think uh, before we go to final stage of the deployment, what uh, is remaining is the integration of what's been uh, done from here and what's being done by all over the and uh, uh, Israel. And uh, last Saturday, we had a, a discussion on how to proceed and we are uh, working on how uh, to give them uh, instructions on how uh, they can install whatever is being done from here uh, and we integrate it as quickly as possible so uh, and they will also have to be uh, uh, done with uh, the dashboard activities that uh, uh, they are doing uh, if they are uh, very busy and if uh, installation of whatever being uh, done from here is uh, difficult to do and to be able to save time uh, we are planning that if we uh, organize a, a mechanism whereby we have a remote access uh, from here and we uh, do an integration of uh, the task, uh, I think this can be uh, coordinated uh, with uh, Olole and uh, Mariam. 
and our team. Uh, or if uh, Olole is busy, I think it can also be done with, uh, with Mariam. Uh, those are the sorts of things that uh, need to be finalized. And what was uh, being discussed uh, today, like uh, yeah, the remaining forms need to, uh, to be here. Uh, I don't know if there is anything that uh, need addition. Uh, Getu can speak to this as well. I, I think Samson has uh, explained it well, but to make it clear, uh, we might need remote access to any desktop that Oluwele or, and Ezra are working so that we could uh, integrate uh, what whatever done, whatever has been done here can be integrated into the images. Uh, I mean, uh, recent images that Oluwele and Ezra are uh, working on. So what we are asking is to Oluwele or uh, Ezra to install TeamViewer or other uh, softwares that able us to that will be able us to log in to their uh, to the desktop there with them and we can integrate the system. Okay. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, Samson and Getsu. I will take this off with Oluwele. I saw that Samson already posted. A request on this, so I'll take it up with him. He's caught up in a meeting at KIU, and then uh, Ezra too is caught up at another meeting in Makarere. But I'll find and speak to them after this meeting via WhatsApp and make sure that they get you what you need as soon as possible. Thank you very, very much for all the good work, everyone. I'm going to call Putu to give an update on the data intelligence article. Yeah, but before that, uh, we have, uh, I, I want to uh, mention about uh, the video demonstration uh, Prof. Francisca because uh, we need to prepare about what, what will be the content of video demonstration and how, uh, like, how will we create this one. So, but, but basically we need to, uh, to point out what kind of uh, demonstration that we will present on the 20th of April. Oh yes, that was initial suggestion by Han, the president of the Brussels office, that we need to make a video on the achievement of Wooden Africa. So perhaps what I may do is to share with you the outcome of the, the self-assessment of Wooden Africa, <coughs> that guide to provide on some of the points. We don't want something too long, but we want something as informative and captivating like the last video you made on the, uh, the article that we published. So I can share with you the self-assessment reports of Bhutan Africa, and then we'll pick the points from the video. But we can also throw the question open if there are things that we would like to showcase for the video that will be played on 28th April. But to essentially document the Bhutan Africa journey. Yeah, okay, okay. so uh, I think, uh... I will take the, the responsibility, uh, Prof. Francisca, because I know that everyone is so busy. So, uh, or uh, who will uh, take in charge in the video? I think uh, Getu has his hand raised. Getu, you have something yeah, to yeah. say? Yes, Prof. This is Samson. Uh, I think uh, we need to have uh, uh, one separate meeting on this issue of preparation for. Uh, on how to proceed because uh, li like you said, there are lots of tasks to do, like recordings to do. We need also to be in contact with uh, co-presenters from uh, Stanford and other other areas. So it was, it's, it would be good if we, uh, if Putu, you organize uh, a meeting sometime this week, uh, perhaps, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I don't know, the, in, the, in the shortest time possible, we can organize it on WhatsApp and then discuss on how to do the recording uh, because it touches a lot of things. It, it would be difficult to decide it here and now. Thanks over now. Okay. Okay, Samson, then I will uh, organize uh, the preparation maybe uh, uh, on if we can meet on Friday or Saturday is, is not a problem for me, but we need to prepare it uh, uh, we need to have a preparation for that. I agree.
And for the data intelligence, so uh, I just uh, read the WhatsApp from Prof. Miriam. It is data intelligence articles being sent to Feng Hong for further handling. Uh, so yeah, that, that's all from uh, Prof. Miriam. So uh, I don't know what is uh, the timeline for the publication of this. But maybe if you know about that, Prof. Francisca, but that's all from the data intelligence. Yes, I'm sure by next meeting, we can push that agenda item to the next meeting. We can push that item to the next meeting so that Professor Miriam hopefully should be able to update us on that since she has been in uh, communication with Feng Hong on the articles. Yes. Mm. Ezekiel, you wanted to say something? Okay, we'll be looking at it. Blessing. Ezekiel is somewhere else. It's okay. So I'll hand over back to you, uh, Putu. We are taking the last item on the agenda so that you can close the meeting. We have saved some time. And if you can. Sorry. Okay. Prof. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Prof. AOBs and any other point. Yeah. Okay, uh, hello, hello, Prof. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You can go ahead. Yeah, as this is Araya. Uh, I think before we uh, conclude our today's meeting, probably it might be good to set a, a kind of uh, deadline for finishing the dashboard, the integration, because uh, probably what I assume is the Oluele and the Ezra are working uh, on the dashboard, thinking uh, for the tw for the April twenty. Uh, but uh, we have a demonstration in Tanzania on uh, uh, April 12th. So to be sure and uh, to have a, a plan B, can we think, can we receive an update uh, from uh, Oluele, Samson and uh, on the other tasks by Friday or Saturday so that we can think of other plan B options, otherwise the video demonstration and uh, the other preparation for the workshops de is dependent on finalizing the image or uh, the MVP. Uh, Professor Francisca, what do you think? I mean, if we can uh, uh, advise to get to get update by Friday so that we can uh, think uh, if there are unfinished tasks, we may think for plan B or other options so that uh, we will not be, I mean, in danger, I would say. Time is running against us, so we have to have a very fixed uh, timeline or deadline for the remaining tasks. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Raya. I agree with you because even uh, I neglected to mention that we have a, a construction meeting, the steering committee meeting coming up on 11th, a day before the demonstration. And we have told them at the last meeting that we're going to deploy at the end of March or early of 1st of April. So we need to even be ready before that Friday. But it's hard for me to pin a deadline on the technical team. They work at, not even at their own pace, they work very hard and work very fast, but then circumstances. For example, now they have the DHIS from Nigeria. They don't have that of Kenya. They don't have that of Somalia. They don't have that of um, in pillow from Zimbabwe. So it makes it hard. Even when they're ready, there are certain impulse that are not ready. But I think uh, something and Getu had proposed a workaround to forget about the DHIS and then just concentrate on the health system uh, information itself. So we'll have to take this out of the Tuesday meeting. We can't set a deadline for them here. They are not even here. Something is there, Getu is here. Uluwale is not here, Ezra is not here. So we have to take this to the tech deployment. Yes, Miriam is here, of course, but then she can only pass the information down. We have to take this to the tech deployment uh, WhatsApp group and agree on a deadline. We should be before Friday because we have the steering committee meeting on the 11th, which uh, it's something which is very important as well, to have our deployment ready. Yeah, uh, okay, uh, well taken, uh, Professor, and uh, maybe we can, uh, uh, instead of setting a fixed deadline, I totally agree 
the technical work needs its own time and uh, estimating a time could be difficult. But having a, a follow-up and depending on the uh, on the situation, we may uh, we may think for other options, plan B options. I mean, yeah, I know I agree with you that we need to have a deadline actually. But what I'm saying is we can't set it here because the some of the key actors are not here. Uluwale is not here. Ezra is not here. So if we set a deadline for them and it is unacceptable, then what have we achieved? But we can set the deadline at the tech deployment uh, group, which is like everyone, including Samsung, get to everyone involved in the deployment. We can now have a chat and then set a deadline for them, which I'll put in a message as soon as we end this meeting that everyone will see. There is a question here put to before you close. Esther was asking, when is the article on fair equivalency likely to be published? Uh, we're hoping very soon. We don't have the exact dates, but the usually data intelligence publishes in April. We hope by next week we'll have an update, a specific update from Professor Miriam. But I can confirm that the fair equivalency article is part of the ones to be first published in the data intelligence. I'll hand back to you now, Putu, to close the meeting. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Prof. Francisca. So uh, I think uh, that's all from today. But uh, before that, is there any last question or comment before we close the session? Going once, going twice. Okay, then I guess no question anymore. So thanks, everyone, uh, for this uh, fruitful dis discussion. So uh, as always, the video recording of the webinar will be available. Uh, this week uh, in YouTube and I will share it to WhatsApp group. So I hope uh, we can finish all of the tasks and we can do the demonstration uh, on the deadline on 15th of uh, April for uh, Tanzania and 20th uh, of April for the uh, uh, for uh, the, the conference meeting. So yeah, thanks again for joining us. We will see you next week. Bye everyone. Thanks.